to my summer customization of my car. If you're new here, my name is Lauren. I'm a college lifestyle vlogger that just really loves her car. I vlogged my whole entire buying my car process and I've actually already customized it before, but I bought my car last year. February. So it's been over a year now, I think almost like a year and a half, and it's just not what I want anymore. I just wanted to make it more summery and more colorful, and there's also some things that I felt like I could do differently than what I did in the first vlog. So we're going and recustomizing it. I feel like everyone goes through phases with their car too, of how they want to decorate it and things that they want in their car, and especially like organization purposes. So we're going to be going through all the different compartments of my car and organizing and cleaning. We found a parking deck. If you watched my weekend in my life, I had the hardest time trying to find a parking lot or parking garage, whatever, that was vacant enough and also had the top open where I could film this. There was no place in my mind that I was like, oh yeah, I can film my car customization video because like, where do you film things like that? I don't know, but... I found one. So we are here right now. I wanted to go ahead and drive up here and make sure I could film up here before I actually started this video. It also is very, very hot today. It is 101 right now. <laughs> I was supposed to wake up early to do this video and I decided to treat myself and just sleep in. So here we are in the middle of the day. Actually, I waited until a little bit later so I wasn't like in the heat of the day filming this. That is why I look like a slicked back rat right now. So um, when I start sweating, my hair isn't like getting oily and sweaty or it will be getting oily and sweaty, but you just won't notice it as much. Anyways, welcome to our video. Let's get going and customize our car and get it ready for summer. You got a lot of heartbreak history, but I'm gonna make it all a memory if you go. So first things first is I need to go clean my car. I am going to go to the car wash and get it all vacuumed out and cleaned out. I also grabbed some cleaning supplies from my apartment to go ahead and clean some things because they don't have anything to like spray down your car, like the inside of it and like your windows and stuff. And I always notice that these things need cleaning, especially since we're deep cleaning it today because obviously we're customizing it. It needs to be clean. It needs to be beautiful. I also just got gas yesterday, so I have a full ticket gas. I feel like that is also an essential step in customizing your car is getting gas because a full tank of gas happy car happy you it makes sense to me anyways we're en route to the car wash to clean up Remy oh by the way I might get questions on the car I have I have a 2019 Toyota RAV4 I highly suggest it again I've had this for over a year now safe car great she is amazing and I honestly feel like I'm in a very like luxury vehicle when I'm not like this is a very very nice car and I know like a lot of girls my age like dream of having like Range Rovers and G-Wagons and all that stuff and like me too girl me too but honestly I think this is a really really great car for college age girls girls like getting their first car whatever like literally it is so safe it's a Toyota I feel like Toyotas like never die like they are just like the universal like great car so her name is Remy Remy the RAV4 so we're going to go wash Remy and clean it out also a little bit because I know I have some things back here that I need to remove and I also grabbed some things from Amazon I will be linking everything down below that I am using to customize my car that way if you see something that you want you can definitely just check that out in the description and it'll all be linked for you. So we're going to do a haul of that as well once we get back from washing the car. to give you a haul of everything that I bought new for my car. I'm keeping this 
steering wheel cover on it I think it just blends in really well since like the interior just right here is black I think this is really nice and it's lasted very well I'll still link this down below even though I'm not decorating with it like just right now like it was in my last one I still will link that stuff as well or at least I'll try to if I miss anything just comment down below and I will find the link for it sometimes I forget to link things but I was driving over here in this van so I am like behind this van for a hot second and I'm like I'm just like driving to the parking deck minding my own business and they pull into the parking deck and I'm like they're going to think I am following because I'm going to the very top to film this video and they pulled in here and they're just chilling you heard it here first folks like they're not leaving I was thinking I sat here for a minute and I was like maybe they'll leave like maybe they just like went to the top to see like where I was going because I probably looked sus but like I swear I'm not anyways I have to get out of my car because the box of stuff is right here and I tried lifting it and it won't lift to get right here or like it won't fit back there so I don't even know who's in the car I think it's like a younger couple like a teenage couple Okay, got the box of Amazon things. I was thinking maybe if I walked out, I wouldn't look that suspicious. I mean, I'm not suspicious, but like I am in the act of trying to not look suspicious as I am not suspicious. That probably didn't make any sense. Anyways, it probably even looked more suspicious that I like went to the back and got like this box. I'm just like, wait, I don't even know what they're doing. I should have bought my binoculars. Did y'all ever have binoculars as a kid? I don't have any anymore. But anyways, let's get going with this little haul. So this is a backseat organizer, or not backseat organizer, back trunk organizer since I have like an SUV type vehicle. I did buy one that I featured in my last car customization video and I think it was meant for a car, not like a smaller SUV. So this I'm hoping is going to work a little bit better. It like hooks onto the seats. I also got this roadside emergency kit. I'm honestly not too sure exactly what comes in this, but I know it has like the little jumper cables. Oh yeah, oh she's like fully stocked. So this is just something I'm going to keep in the back. It has like gloves. It has like a little vest. Like I'm ever gonna put on that vest if I'm just like sitting outside like by the road. Maybe I would, never say never. It has a mini first aid kit. I mean, I didn't realize how stocked this was. An ice scraper, the jumper cables. Um, Is this like to check your tire pressure? That little thing. It has rope. I don't know what that is. Oh, it has a flashlight. I'm actually going to put the flashlight up here. Does it work? What? That was kind of, do you do that to charge it? I don't know, but this is fully stocked with everything that you could ever need in your car, which is good to know. So this is just something that I'm going to be keeping in the trunk of my car as well. I mean, I'm really just trying to figure out like, why are you up here? Like, I mean, why am I up here? But like, why are y'all? I then got this car registration and insurance holder. I did grab one thing that was similar like this in my first one. It was like a little mini binder, but this one is just cuter because it's pink. And also it's just easier to find everything that I needed rather than like the mini binder I had. I got this dust cleaning gel. This like went viral on TikTok. I got a new spray for summer. This is a pina colada. This is my little vacation. This is so, so good. I have a miniature bottle right here that I use. It's a freshly glazed donut, but I found this and I just wanted my car to smell like summer. Then I got, oh my gosh, these are the freaking cutest little things. These are balloon dogs and they were sold as a set. So I couldn't get like just one or at least like when I bought them, they were like that. But they're little air fresheners that like go on your like little air conditioner thing. Look at how cute those are. Oh, I cannot. I don't even know if they're going to last. Like the smell is going to last, but they're just gonna be like cute to look at. I also got this cup holder because I always bring my Hydro Flask everywhere, but obviously it doesn't fit the cup holder. So I got this, so hopefully it'll fit. And I brought my Hydro Flask so we can test it out to see if it'll actually fit. I also got these, <laughs> this is so weird, a dip clip. So basically like when I go get fast food, cause I travel a lot in my car and I always have to stop at like Chick-fil-A or McDonald's or whatever. I normally get sauces and this, you like put the sauce in there and like clip it to your little air conditioning vent so you can enjoy your sauce. And it's pink, of course, <laughs> duh. This is, oh, this is a little miniature trash can because I do have the trash can back here. It's not my favorite. It's like the bigger trash can, but a lot of the time I'll just have like straw wrappers or like little pieces of trash so I'm just going to put this up front with me oh my gosh I forgot that I grabbed this 
Okay, hold on. Backstory. I bought all of this stuff a while ago because a lot of it, it took a while to come in, whatever. This is to bling out the front of my steering wheel. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I also got these like little cup holder or cup coaster things to put in the front of my car. Then these little babies are going to be used for organization for the center console. And then this one, oh my gosh, this is a little vanity mirror that hooks on to your windshield, not windshield, what is this? Sun shield? Is it called a sun shield? I'm gonna be so proud of myself that it, if it is. But anyways, instead of having like this small little mirror, you can have this ginormous mirror. So that is the haul of what we are decorating with. I'm kind of still sussed out by these people. So I might move over a little bit so I'm not like kind of near them when I'm trying to organize this. <laughs> Update one of them just hopped in the back seat that is my sign to leave i also am going to be giving you like before shots of everything this van needs to go like i can't film this anywhere else i'll just like go to like the very opposite side okay so the lighting isn't as good right here but it says no loitering am i loitering what's the definition of wood i'm not loitering right like if i'm doing something is that loitering i mean look at this lighting thank you van for letting us do this now okay so this is the front of my steering wheel right now obviously I have this like little steering wheel holder and then I also have like this little steering wheel buddy. Her name is Sadie. She's so cute. She's normally right here but it blocks my air conditioning and for the summer she just has to sit right here. I got her at a gas station so I'm going to try and find a link for her but she's so cute. I just have a scrunchie on her but she's normally just like a cute little unicorn. So the first thing we're going to do is bedazzle right here. That is what is inside of here. Okay so I started pressing them on. They fit perfectly but I'm trying not to like push my steering wheel so I don't honk. So then we only have these pieces left. trunk looks like right now. This normally stays in here. This is what I use in my apartment if I have to bring up groceries because I do live on a higher floor and I don't want to have to carry them all the way up there. So this is just like a little wagon so that kind of just stays there. But we're about to be putting the little emergency kit and also setting up the thing that sits right here. I'm not sure why these are like uneven. That's kind of weird. I fixed it. It was just like a little lumber. But we got it. Okay, went ahead and put this back here, but this is what that looks like. It's a lot better than what the original one was that took up all this space because I can still fit my little wagon thing right here. I do think I'm going to try and fit this into one of these. Maybe it'll fit, maybe not. This will be really nice to keep like extra clothes in or snacks or anything of the sort. kind of sus. Anywho, this is what that little light looks like. I think it looks so cute. It has that setting or you have the brighter setting and I think this is going to be really nice for especially like if I'm here late at night in my car and I need to fix anything. And then also how you keep it charged is through this wire. It's a long enough wire to connect it. I think it like connects, yeah, right here into your little charging port. So I think it's so nice to have. Okay, so 
So we have a lot of things done and good to go. I did end up moving the little um, trash can right here just because it fit a little bit better. The Hydro Flask does fit perfectly in this like little adaptable cup holder. So I absolutely love that. But I'm going to show you inside of here because this is what we're going to be working on next. It is really not organized at all. It just has like a bunch of stuff just like thrown in it. So we're going to be sorting through this and I went ahead and unpacked the little cubes and hoping that it's going to fit. I didn't measure, so let's hope. Okay, yeah, this had random things, like a random thing from when I went mini golfing, some Tylenol, which I didn't know I had in here, so that's actually pretty good to know. Some makeup remover wipes, some glasses I forgot I had, just random stuff, so let's organize it. Okay, so how I organize these is this is more of like a cosmetic type thing. So I have like my hand sanitizer, some tissues, perfume, my hairbrush, things like that in here. And then in this one, I have all the extra like cords. I have that little cleaner, pins, my storage locker key, all that stuff in here. of our organization but we have to switch over the card registration insurance stuff from this binder so this is the binder i was telling y'all about it's basically in here i kept all of my important documents and i just put it together i think i like got the binder and like these like little inserts separately but it's just very bulky compared to this one um it kind of got warped a little bit but obviously that's a lot thinner than what this is so that is mostly why we're switching over to this new one okay i went ahead and put all of my registration tag stuff everything that I needed in there. I'm not going to show you because that's personal information, but I just went ahead and put it in that other little compartment on my passenger side. Now, all that is left to do is just spray the really good spray in here. That pina colada stuff that I was telling you about earlier all over the car. I still have my bag in here from earlier, just the stuff that I brought my cleaning supplies, my tripod and stuff in, and then also the box in the back that all of the stuff came in. I just ended up using that as like a big garbage bag because obviously you saw that a lot of the stuff came in little boxes, but we're going to spray this little thing and then I'm gonna give you a little overview baby just don't walk away I need you now fade it out so let me give you the little tour. Obviously, I still have my hand sanitizer right here. This goes in and out depending. Like if I have a cup from a restaurant or something, this obviously leaves. But this is the Capri Blue Volcano hand sanitizer. I actually love just keeping it in my car. This is where I put, obviously, the Hydro Flask. I have my scrunchies right here. I also have my little avocado clip, my sunglasses I use, and my Vaseline that I keep in my car. Obviously, the really cutie little balloon dog scents. This is all also a scent. I will link a similar one down below. I also have this Bath and Body Works. I just don't have any scent in it yet, but I do have that right there. And then another one of my favorite things is this mirror. Obviously, that lights up. Down here in the door, like I said, I put that little trash can and then I also put my extra air freshener. I also have like that little doodad, whatever that thing is called, like for the window. And then also my flashlight right there as well. This turned out so cute. I absolutely love that. And of course, Sadie, the little unicorn is right here. Two kids come alive in a night customization video for summer comment down below your favorite thing that i added to my car for the summer my favorite would definitely be these cutie little balloon dogs i cannot they are the cutest little thing and they smell actually really really good they smell sort of like a jolly rancher they just smell so so amazing thank you guys so much for clicking on this video if you enjoyed it be sure to give it a big thumbs up and if you want to join the family you can click that subscribe button also i love you guys so much and i'll be seeing you in my next video Bye. Cause you know